Hello my dear students, you're welcome once more to the GCE panel. You have been asking us to come up with the paper two. So in this series, we are looking at corrections of June 2022, A-level mathematics with statistics, A-level mathematics, uh, pure math with uh, mechanics, paper two, question one and to 10. Guys, if you actually want us to continue making these videos for you, then you equally have to play a part by subscribing to this channel and by sharing. By subscribing, and sharing you are going to help us to have more time to prepare more videos for you rather than trying to answer questions from many students because when you share instead of them asking us these questions they decide now how to just get from these videos so let's start with the first question which reads given that the roots of the equation 3x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0 are alpha and beta show that alpha plus alpha on beta into beta plus beta on alpha equals 3. So the first thing to do about this question, guys, is that um, we have to make it to be in the form x squared minus sum of roots plus uh, product equals 0, okay? So we arrange, it, we arrange it in this form, x squared minus sum of roots plus product by dividing all through by the coefficient of x squared. So this should be identical to x squared minus sum of roots. The sum of roots is alpha plus beta, right? Because they say that the roots are alpha and beta. So plus product, the product here is alpha beta. Now here equating coefficients, we see that alpha plus beta is going to be equal to 4 on 3. And alpha beta will be equal to 2 on 3, right? Now we can now use this, apply this in this alpha plus alpha on beta and all of that. So Working with the left hand side to get a result on the right hand side, we proceed as follows. So we are going to expand this and simplify. So this will be equal to alpha times beta, that's alpha beta. Alpha times beta on alpha, that's going to give us plus beta. Uh, now times uh, alpha on beta times beta, that's plus alpha. Now alpha on beta times beta on alpha is equal to 1. So this is what we have. But now we already have alpha beta to be 2 on 3. Beta plus alpha is 4 on 3 and we add 1 to it so that will give us 2 on 3 plus 4 on 3 plus 1 and this result is equal to 3 which is equal to the right hand side as required so we have proven this first part of this question my dear students if you are watching this uh, tutorial if you really want to encourage us and want the panel to continue to grow then you have to subscribe to this channel and you click on this notifications bell so that whenever you update the video you'll be the first to have a notification equally you can share this our video on twitter on facebook on youtube on instagram and the different platforms you need to find yourself wherever you have groups of students or students uh, communities please please and please share these videos we are on our knees we are crying kata is coming out of our nostrils and a lot more guys please share these videos if you really love what we are doing in this panel and you want to promote it equally we have uh, solutions for past questions if you want to buy go to this our website and contact us directly gcepanel.com okay from there you, you see what's that button and contact us directly or if you have our contacts can get to us directly so thank you so much in advance because we know you're going to do it now b find an equation with integral coefficients whose roots are alpha, one on alpha and one on beta so this is the b part of this question so for us to find a new equation, what do we need? We need the sum of roots and the product of roots. So first of all, we need the new sum. So our new sum will be one over alpha plus one over beta. So that gives us one over alpha plus one over beta, which will be equal to when we look for the LCM, we will have alpha plus beta on alpha beta. But alpha plus beta from up here is four on three, and alpha beta is two on three. So when we divide, we are going to have two. Therefore, our new sum is 2. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and to share. Equally, when you watch these videos, leave your comments. That way you know if you love the videos or you don't love them or what you would like us to do so that we know exactly what we do next. Please leave your comments. Please always make sure that you comment, like our videos, leave hearts and all of that, okay? If you really love the panel, I want to, I really want us. If you are in need of a teacher and you are sure that you have the money to pay, then you can equally contact us, okay? You can join our free online classes too, as well as well as our paid classes. 
All right, so the next thing we need is a new product. A new product will be one over alpha times one over beta. So we have one over alpha times one over beta, and this will be equal to one over alpha beta. But our alpha beta is two on three, so that gives us three on two when we uh, multiply by the reciprocal of two on three. Now, our new equation will be equal to x squared minus sum of roots plus products, right? So we have x squared. Our sum of roots here is uh, 2. Our product of roots is 3 on 2. So we have x squared minus sum of roots x plus product equals 0. And we can multiply all through by 2. And finally, what we have is this equation. So that is what we have for the b part of this equation. We will now continue with sub 2. But we continue to emphasize that, guys, please... Go to our website where you can download past questions. You can click on the link below this video to either buy GC materials, whatever, to join our groups. We have classes that are going on even for computer science and other subjects, not just mathematics. Equally, we are working on um, what you call a season, a mathematics series. Season 1 is for pure math. Season 2 is for statistics and series 3 is for mechanics so guys please just go online our channel on youtube type gce panel or gce math panel and you are going to have these seasons which is going to prepare you completely for the gce we have been working on this for a long time and now we are coming actually to the end of the competition so guys please watch these videos subscribe share them especially on facebook and whatsapp groups so the b part of this question reads the polynomial p of x is such that p of x equals ax cubed plus bx squared minus 2x minus 6 now, given that p of x leaves a remainder of 10 when divided by x minus 2, and that 2x minus 3 is a factor of p of x, find the values of the constant a and b. That's 6 marks. So, we are in the world of police now, polynomials. And our polynomial here is p of x equals all of that. Now, the first thing they tell us is that x minus 2 leaves when it's divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 10. So, we equate x minus 2 to 0. And when we solve x, x equals 2. What does this imply? This implies that p of 2 should give us 10, okay? And p of 2 is when you substitute 2 into this equation. So this will give us a into 2 to the power 3 plus b into 2 to the power 2 minus 2 into 2 minus 6 equals 10. We substitute this polynomial. We simplify. That will give us 8a at the end plus 4b equals 20. We call this equation 1. We are equally told that um, 2x minus 3 is a factor. So we start by equating 2x minus 3 to 0, and x will be equal to 3 on 2, which therefore means that p of 3 on 2 should be equal to 0 because it's a factor. So p of 3 on 2 will be equal to 0 implies a into 3 on 2 cubed plus b into 3 on 2 squared minus 2 into 3 on 2 minus 6 equals 0. Hmm? Now we simplify, we are going to have 27a plus 18b equals 72, and we call this equation 2, okay? Now, from these two equations, we can solve A and B as follows. So, from here, equation 2 minus 4.5 times equation 1, or use another method, whatever you use, we arrive at the same answer. This will imply that minus 9 equals a negative uh, minus 18, and A equals plus 2. We substitute now in equation 1, and from here, our B will be equal to 20 minus 8 uh, into 2, all that on 4, and our B is equal to 1. Guys, thank you so much for following this question to the end. And just a few reminder, reminders. We are selling GC materials online. You can buy soft copy, hard copy. You can have a Valentine's offer, which will end this Sunday. Secondly, you can join our online classes. Thirdly, if you have enough money that you want to hire a teacher to teach you online, live teaching, not on WhatsApp or even on WhatsApp uh, included, please contact us as soon as possible because as GC is approaching, the more our prices are going up. For all your brothers and sisters who are writing O-level, we have complete pamphlet from 2010 to 2020, which is very, very cheap. You can have a Valentine's offer for that. Visit our website that is written here, and you can download past questions, answers, notes, and so on. All our notes are on our website. See you soon. If you love this video, please share and subscribe. Love you. Bye-bye. Waiting for your subscription. Please subscribe and share on Facebook and Twitter. Bye-bye.
GC Panel.